Hey there, it's Jen, and I'm excited to be a guest designer for Studio Calico for the month of June. And so I want to show you a couple of things from this Expedition Kit. Uh, here's a look at the color scheme. Um, it's got Wanderlust, Outdoors, Nostalgia. It's really, really cute. I love it. So I'm keeping my kit in an iris container like I usually do, and then I have the craft tray insert. Let me show you the papers really quickly. They're really fun. So this one, which I think I'll probably cut some stuff out of, and then the back is a nice um, wood grain. This one is kind of like a, it's almost a peachy color with stars on it, and then it's got some bright stripes on the back. I love this as a background. So maybe I'll use that for my first page. And then arrows on the back. We have a star map. And then orange on the back. I love this one. I have learned that to be with those I like is enough. So true. So cute. I love that paper. The back I don't care about. This side is so much. Ooh, I love it so much. Okay, this one's just kind of got like, a, it's a grid with a, um, like a watercolor effect to it and then this looks like a campground and then we've got a star map and then some plain colored card stops including white and craft which I like using craft as a background and I haven't done it in a while so I'll probably use that for one of my layouts as well and then we've just got some um, stickers it came with two sheets of these stickers some chipboard this is the card that they just include as kind of like a little, like the, you know, stuff about it. But I like to use these sometimes. There are lots of really cute little tags, um, little tickets, I mean, that have outdoorsy kind of stuff on them. They're really fun. So you can get a look at those. There's some wood pieces, which are very cute. Um, these are really fun. I love these actually. These are like uh, fabric labels and they have adhesive on the back and you can just fold them over. They're really cute. I'll definitely be using some of those. Um, it comes with this stamp set which I love. This is actually an add-on but it's also a stamp set that's really fun. This one's more of like traveling whereas this one's more kind of like outdoors if that makes sense and then it comes with this cool alphabet as well with the arrows on it so that is what I'm going to be using I'm going to go ahead and put you on fast forward and get started on this first layout all right so I just have to say right off that this was like a layout that came together in record time for me it only took me 30 minutes I usually speed up my videos to four times but I did only three times the speed this time so uh, it really was a quick layout for me. So as I mentioned at the beginning, I knew I wanted to cut out some of these uh, cute little, um, they're kind of like, I don't know how, I, my brain isn't working right now apparently. Anyway, those cute little pieces from that paper, I cut one out that says the great outdoors and I'm going to place it over the top of my photo. I love that picture. I love all the pictures that we took from that place and I'm trying to figure out more ways to use those pictures on layouts that Ha still have a story because I really love those photos and I have more. Um, and so I knew I wanted to use the letters for the word lakes and I'm going to do the word Payson. So it says Payson Lakes uh, and I'll you'll see in a little bit I'll type that onto a small little ticket. Um, right now I'm looking at those little fabric flags which are super adorable. I love them and I'm going to use I can't remember if I use one or two on here but um, I think I definitely add one. And then I like that circle. The chipboard in this set, uh, in this kit is really awesome. I love it. Uh, and the tickets, I think I use the tickets on every layout. They're just really fun, really cute, really easy to just add in as a little embellishment. Um, I make them a feature on another layout that you'll see coming up here soon. That was the second layout I created. And now I'm just kind of trying to... Um, do a little bit of color balancing. So I've got that green, the great outdoors thing that I cut out from that paper. And so I'm balancing it with a little bit of aqua on the, um, next to the photo of me and my friend CJ on the bottom right. And I have yellow, a yellow chipboard piece under our photo. And so I'm putting a yellow ticket up at the top left. And now I'm trying to decide like what I'm going to do with this ticket. If I, um, 
I'm going to type the word Payson onto this ticket. That's the that's what I end up doing. So I'm just running it through my typewriter right now. I just have a We Are Memory Keepers Typecast typewriter. And that's what I am doing is typing that up. And it's not perfect, and I'm fine with it. Um, it is a little bit tricky to read the title, but for me, I know what it is. And so I'm just going to go with it, and it's all good. And I am adding a white border to this photo so that it pops out a little bit. Uh, because I'm layering the photos together, I wanted this photo to be able to pop out a little bit more and I physically wanted to pop it. So I decide to put some foam adhesive on the back of it and that's just some fun foam. I get that at Walmart. It's like five bucks for 40 sheets of it or something, but you can also buy it on Amazon or uh, at Hobby Lobby or Michaels or any craft store like that. It's pretty inexpensive less expensive than regular foam adhesive anyway, but I do have both. Um, anyway, so now I'm gonna pop up this little piece as well. And whenever I pop up one thing, I like to have a couple of things popped up just because visually um, I like to, not only when I, not only do I wanna distribute the different colors around the layout, but I also wanna distribute the weight and things that are popped up, like everything visually I want to distribute evenly. I don't know if that the way that I said that makes sense. Like I said, my brain isn't working today, so I apologize. Uh, but anyway, so now I'm going to get get the word lake stuck down and I'm just using some double sided adhesive here from Thermo Web. And I love double sided tape. It works for everything. It's awesome. And it's nice and thin for these letters. So that worked nicely. I'm using a quarter inch here, but they also have an eighth inch and that one's really nice as well. So as I get this stuck down, you'll see that I nestled the L um, right next to where the, that little green piece that says the great outdoors is going to go. So it's going to be butted up right next to it. And I like the way that looks. And it also ends right at the edge of the photo, which is good too. So I like to, I'm always paying attention to edges or where things meet up and things like that when I'm, when I'm creating layouts. So there I'm adding that little ticket and I decide to move that circle element up to the top. Uh, I go ahead and glue down that yellow piece on my photo and I'm going to add this little chipboard piece below my photo with the, with the trees because I like the way that A, it balances out that that aqua color that I typed on that little ticket and it also balances the trees that are in the outdoors green piece that I cut from the pattern paper so I'm happy with the way that looks and I'm kind of creating a little bit of a diagonal design here you can see um, my embellishment is starting to go up towards the top left and then my photo and the other embellishments are pulling it down towards the bottom right so it's a little bit of a diagonal design I decided I wanted to go ahead and stamp. Um, I'm looking through, I have ink swatches here, so I'm just looking through them to see what color I wanna use. I wanted to find one that matched the gray in the word lakes, and so I'm using slate ink from close to my heart. You just saw me rubbing the, the stamp on my arm. That helps to season it if it's the, your first time using it, um, just so that you get a cleaner image. You can also use an eraser, but my arm's handy. <laughs> um, so I really like the way that that stamp nestles in right where the the corners of those those photos where they meet and now I'm looking for a green color that I can stamp the trees in and I decide to use this super old ink it's called bottle um, it's from Adirondack and it ends up working perfectly I was only going to stamp a few of the trees at first but then I decided it's just going to be easier and to stamp the whole entire row and I think it turns out really cute anyway so I just stamped it above the word lakes and it fits in perfectly right there and now that kind of completes um, a trio of those trees for me uh, finally you're gonna trim off the bottom branding strip which I usually do earlier than that and it has orange on the back which I kind of like um, I thought it might be nice to bring in a little pop of orange or aqua or something. And I like how the branding strips on all of these papers have those stripes on them. So I'm going to cut this one off, uh, and it's green and I will end up putting that up towards the top of my layout. Um, because you can see at the bottom there from the very bottom most piece, which is that, that aqua piece with the 
green trees on it. There's just a tiny bit of space between that and the bottom of the page. And so I wanna make the top have just a little bit of space between the topmost thing and the, the top uh, edge of the layout. Don't know if that made sense, but that strip going across helps me to do that. It helps uh, the layout be more symmetrical um, on the top and the bottom and have equal spacing. So here I'm putting that little aqua piece of ticket next to my photo and playing around with it to try to get it lined up. Now there are lines on the background, so what I'm trying to do is make it so the ticket goes within some of the lines. I don't want it to line up exactly with any of the lines. Don't know if, uh, that's just something that I think is visually more pleasing. Um, I added some staples to the tickets, which I think looks nice. And I'm trying to decide if I wanna add this little piece that says wander, it's triangle. And so I'm trying to decide how I feel about it. And I keep, I'll put it, I'll pull it off and on a few times uh, before deciding. And then I thought maybe I need a wood piece, um, but I'm just not digging the way that that's looking either. So I decide to put those back and then I'm going to pull out the black word stickers and I'm going to cut them down a little bit. They have a lot of space around each word and I decided that I just wanted them to have a little less space around the words and so I cut them all down just so that they're a little bit of a skinnier um, strip and I'm gonna put a few at the top there just to fill in that kind of awkward space between the top of the great outdoors and that circle. And so that filled that space really nicely actually. Um, it brings a bit of heaviness, which at the bottom of my photo, it's pretty dark. So that brings some heaviness there. And right now what I'm doing is I'm writing my journaling out in pencil to see how it's going to fit in here. And I just want it to go from, um, because there's lines on the background that makes it really easy to at least get my journaling straight. Uh, and I'm gonna just put it above the title area and I decide that I need a little bit more space than what I gave myself room for so I will just start when I start my journaling start at a line above where I did it with the pencil and I'm just using my favorite black Muji pen which I use very often for my journaling because I love it it's a nice fine point I get them on Amazon uh, I think you can get a pack of 10 for $12 or something like that. I'll, li I'll link to it in the video description. I usually link to everything I can. And after I do my journaling, that's about going to complete this layout. I do add a date, I believe, um, but that's going to be it for this one. I hope that you have enjoyed. Be sure to head over to studiocalico.com to check out the expedition kits. If you're outdoorsy, uh, or if you like vacationing, this kit is awesome for that. It's got a lot of really great pieces here and I definitely encourage you to check it out. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again very, very soon.